Hey guys, today I have a fall inspired makeup look and I paired it with a nude lip. It's something that I think is appropriate to kind of wear every day in the fall. Um, if you're someone that is into darker eyeshadow, which I know I am, and I just use more of browns and I have a pop of color on the lower lash line. And then like I said, I paired it with a nude lip because I was going to do red, but I was like, I don't want too much going on. Like, don't want to be walking around looking like you're a clown. That's not what we're going for. <laughs> so stuck with the nude. And yeah, if you want to see how I achieve this look, then just keep watching. I'm just going to start off by applying Stay Don't Stray by Benefit. My primer. Next, I'm going to apply this um, cream eyeshadow from Benefit, and it is called My Two Cents. And it is just like a pretty chocolatey type of brown yeah it kind of looks like chocolate I'm just gonna apply that all over the lid with my finger I already have my foundation my brows and my um contour and blush and all that jazz done I think they always look really good on the lid and they're good to layer different colors over. I'm just gonna apply a little bit more. And they blend out really easily too. Like they're not really harsh when you put them on. Like they never really leave super harsh lines and or whatnot. And I'm gonna go in with this natural <laughs> palette. And I'm gonna take this color second to darkest color in the palette and I'm going to take that on my Sigma E25 blending brush like this crease <laughs> the crass sometimes I like to talk in funny voices Try not to blend it like too down, like hold your brush up a little bit higher so that way it doesn't like blend down and it kind of blends more up if that makes sense. With this uh, Eco Tools Big Fat Brush, I pretty much use this in all of my eye looks just to kind of like blend out any harsh lines. It's really good with that for that because the bristles on it are really... Um, what I'm looking for stiff and they're really thick so it kind of like blends out anything that you wouldn't want to be there and I really like it next I'm just going to take this pointed type of shadow brush and I'm going to take the darkest color in the palette which is this color right here in the end it's just a really deep dark brown and I'm going to get a little bit of that on the brush and put it up into the crease to further define the eye look. I always like a darker crease. Like I pretty much do all of my eye looks with a more of a dark crease. I just, that's just personally what I like. Kind of start in the middle of the lid and then drag it up in like kind of like a rainbow motion, if that makes sense. That's kind of like my technique. Like push down on it and then drag it up. Um, I'm personally going to kind of like make it a little bit more noticeable. So I'm going to go in with this small shading from Face Secrets. I always use this brush like um, to do the color on my brow bone and inner corner. And I'm just going to kind of like go in with that same dark color and really pack in that dark shadow in the crease. And just go back and forth and like Place the color in that crease evenly, like so. Hey, 
like applying color until you feel that it's right. That's really like the best advice I kind of have with um, doing your eye makeup, especially in the crease. You really just have to have a good um, sense of when enough is enough and when it needs more blending. And I mean, it's all about what you like too. Like if you like it more harsh, some people do. <laughs> I don't, but like I said, it really just depends on what you prefer your eyes to look like. So. I'm just using this. I'm not applying any more color. I'm just kind of like using it to blend it out a little bit. And I'm doing this on both eyes. Take this shimmery type of snowy white. And I'm going to apply this with just a little flat type of shader brush. And I'm going to apply a little bit on my direct lid just to um, add a little bit of shimmer. Just like that. I'm going to take this Femi Couture Mineral Effects in the color Silver Screen. I use this pretty much like all the time. If you've seen any of my other videos, you would know that I use this like really often. And then I'm just going to take that same small shading brush right here. And I'm going to take some of this and I'm going to apply it onto my brow bone. Just kind of lightly dusting it on there. And then I'll apply it on my inner corner too. It's very pretty. A little bit of like a fall pop of color. I'm gonna take this Benefit Stiletto Creaseless Cream Shadow Slash Liner. And this is just what the packaging looks like. It's a really pretty color. It's like this purpley type of deep plum. Take it on this like flat angled type of shader. I guess it could be used as like a liner type of brush. Um, and I'm just going to get it all over that. And I'm going to apply it on my lower lash line like this. Sorry if this is kind of hard to see. What's really nice about using cream shadows on your lower lash line is there's no fallout. <laughs> I'm sorry if that was kind of hard to see. Go back in. Perfect. Go in with a liner. I'm going to take the Sephora just black liner. This is my favorite liner ever. Not ever, but it's one of my favorites um, of like a pencil liner and I'm just going to apply that down there. You can tell by how little it is. <laughs> how much I like it. That's why it's so little because I used it so much. I really put white on the lower lash line for color but I just feel like in fall black is a little bit more appropriate. It's like more appropriate to deepen up your eye looks with some darker colors. And then I'm just going to do my um, cat liner with my Stila Stay All Day like waterproof liquid eyeliner and then I wasn't planning on doing this but I think I'm gonna try it I guess um I'm gonna take that same brush and that same um cream purpley shadow and I'm going to get my mirror <laughs> so I can get nice and close and I'm gonna put it like kind of like follow my liner like that actually I need to touch on my liner too so just ignore that for now and I'm going to do it on the other side I'm going to take a little brush too and go back in with that cream um, color like cream shadow and I'm going to take it and kind of like make it a little bit neater I guess you could say That's what I've came up with so far. <laughs> Just gonna go in and I'm going to apply some mascara. This is the eyes after mascara. All that good stuff. <laughs> I think it's pretty and I really like the um purpley stiletto benefit. Oh, I got some mascara. 
um, purpley stiletto benefit liquid liner. I probably just made that look worse. No, I don't think it looks too bad. <laughs> So I'm just going to line them with the Wet n Wild color icon um, in the color Willow. I'm, gonna, gonna, I'm going to use Max Satin Lipstick in the color Peach Stock. the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Tiramisu and I'm just going to apply that all over my lips like a regular gloss. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that you think this is a good fall um, inspired makeup look. Please ignore my like redness acne spots. I'm, I put on a different foundation today that I normally wouldn't use just to like try it out and it literally did nothing to cover <laughs> to cover up my acne and it's like so annoying.